crew I'm back again with another video hey guys I'm headed to the nail shop nail salon however y'all want to say I said nail shop because I don't do nothing but get my nails done now a salon is where you can get your nail lashes and all that kind of stuff done <coughs> but anyway me and my daughter we headed there and they're headed to the barber shop yeah we gotta do all that Sundays is my day to really just, you know, get my nails. I try to go on a Sunday because it don't be that crowded. I don't get a chance to go every Sunday, y'all. Y'all know I can go on a weekday sometime, too. So, but Sunday, it be more laid back. It don't be that many people in there, and that's when I like to go. So, how's everybody doing? Ain't no telling when I might go, though. It's just me. Whenever I feel like it, I go. Yep. I took my nails off like what? I took, I started taking them, well, two of them broke, then I started taking the rest off last night, so, uh, I decided to come on and, uh, get my nails did today, I hope everybody doing good, it's a beautiful Sunday out here today, it's a beautiful Sunday, yes it is, and blessed to be here, me and my family, truly blessed. Truly blessed to be here. I hope everybody doing great. Staying safe. A lot of people probably, what? Our church probably over now. So, but I'm sure a lot of people went to church today. To the Kingdom Hall. That's where my mom goes to the Kingdom Hall. And I used to go to the Kingdom Hall as well. Uh, when I was younger. I don't know nothing about no church too much. But I remember my granddaddy used to take me when I was small, you know. But since I've been, you know, uh, grown or... I, I, You know, the only time I go into church is like when I'm going to a funeral or something like that. Rather than that, I don't go to no church. I go to the kingdom hall. And sometimes, you know, Jehovah's Witness, they had a funeral. Used to before all this stuff started happening. Had funerals at the uh, kingdom hall as well. So, yeah, it just depends, you know. But I know they uh, they don't even do the, they do the Zoom now. They don't just, uh, you know, go to the Kingdom Hall or church anymore. I think they do that Zoom thing. But I see a lot of people that, you know, they be going to the church and stuff. They still go to church. I, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't recommend uh, going in there with us a lot of people. But if it ain't a lot of people in there, and I be seeing it on uh, on Facebook where a lot of people be in churches, and, and it don't be that many people in there. I guess that's safe, you know. So it's okay. Jehovah gonna he gonna wrap his arms around you and protect you. So that's a good thing because he shall protect me and my family. I show sure love him and I appreciate him. I really do. Like I said, I'm, I'm headed to this nail shop so it's about time. I, put some, I went to the uh, ATM to put some hand sanitizer on my hand. Be touching that strain. Everybody else be touching it too. I keep uh, all kinds of hand sanitizer in this car. I buy them and all kinds of stuff. Just in case, cause we might stop and get something to eat or anything, you know. I just have to protect me and my family. I have to. It's a must. I ain't going for that stuff. Y'all see my hair already messed up. I got to get my hair redid already. It's comfortable with this ponytail, though. It is. I'm at a red light. That's why I'm looking at y'all. I'm at the red light, y'all. People be saying, she just... uh. Uh, driving and looking all in the camera. No, I'm at the red light. I'm at a stop. What about? Uh, are we going to get something to eat at? I don't know yet. Got to figure it out. I got to figure it out. I know you probably hope, but you know what? So when Marvin take you to get your hair cut, he probably uh going to take you to get you something to eat. I'll give you some money. I'll get something to eat. Me and little Krista do whatever. We can get something on our way back. <laughs> So I'll probably do a video with my food as well. And I'm going to do another video to show y'all my nails when I get uh, done, getting them done. You know how that is. I have to come to my support 
subscribers and let them know what I'm doing and how everything going. So that's what I'm gonna do. And yeah, y'all, I was a little tipsy the other night when I had the red on and I was uh, doing the uh, hamburger and fries. I was a little tipsy. I had drank a little bit, but I didn't drink a lot, you know. Uh, but I th I drank on an empty stomach. I had said I wasn't gonna drink on an empty stomach, then I had stopped. So, but I guess I did get a little tips off the little uh, the little liquor that I did drink. But it was all good. I don't think I uh, did anything inappropriate. I don't think I did anyway. I think it was okay. So, you know, you can't satisfy everybody. And I don't try to. I just do my thing and keep it moving. That's what I do, y'all. Going through a tunnel, y'all. Yep, that's all I do. I do my thing and keep it moving. That's what I do. hard out here. I ain't gonna lie. It is super hard. It's, but you know the thing is the, the most the most hardest the, the most hardest thing I'm really going through right now is doing a video. I'm struggling to do videos every day because you have to come up with a content of what you're gonna do and how you're gonna do it and I'm trying to figure out a schedule where I can do all my video. I'm talking about if I'm vlogging one day if I'm gonna eat or I'm gonna cook you know, I just want to get everything in order. That's the hardest thing for me to figure out what I'm going to do that day. You know. So some days I might miss, you know, miss doing a video. It's not that I be want to. It's just like, I don't know what I'm going to do today. You know what I'm saying? Or I'll just do it tomorrow. But I know you, I don't need to be putting it off. You know what I'm saying? Because I need to do a video pretty much every day. Uh, but it's kind of hard to figure out what you're going to do. I ain't going to lie. Because some days I want to eat. Some days I want to cook. Some days I want to vlog. You know, it just depends on, you know, how I'm feeling that particular day. I think that's the hardest thing for me. Other than that, I'm good. You know, and I try to uh, talk about things that, you know, we women go through every day or whatever the case may be. You know, a lot of, my, a lot of people might not understand uh, the concept of my conversation but it ain't for you to understand. It's what I'm going through on a daily basis. So whether you like it or not, you know, this is my life. <clears throat> a lot of people was like, why did I change my mind about getting a house? Because I had said I wanted to move out of town. Let me explain that to you guys. The reason why I'm not getting a house. Okay, I didn't ever say I got the house now. See, that's where y'all get it mixed up at. I said I went and I talked to the lady. I looked at the house. She, she ran my background and everything and, you know, what I was bringing in uh, monthly and all that kind of stuff, you know, as far as my income. So she was like, okay. And I told you my credit is not bad. I can get a, a lease purchase house. You know, I can get a rental house or whatever the case may be. But my thing is, I still have a three-month uh, lease agreement on my apartment. I don't want to let that go. You know, to mess my credit up. Because if I leave now, no matter what, it's going to go toward my credit. Even though I've been there a year. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to stay there until my lease is up. And then, I'm, 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 like I said, I'm thinking about moving out of town. Whether people believe it or not, it really doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? This is my life. This is what I do. I have the right to change my mind if I want to. And no one can change that, you know. I'm just saying, and I'm not being, I'm not saying in a mean way. People think that just because you say something, it's gonna happen like that, you know. It don't nothing happen overnight, you know. Yes, I do. I make good money, and I, I, I can afford to get anything I want to. I can move out of town. I can do whatever I want to. But until I choose to do it, that's on me. So you know, what y'all talk about ain't about nothing. It's so many negative people. You know, that's, that, that, that always have something to say. Uh, you a liar. You Just because things don't happen when you want it to, don't mean a person is lying about it. So always remember, this is my life, and I do it the way I want to do it. If I want to stay in this apartment another year, that's my choice. If I want to move out of town, that's my choice. So whatever I choose to do is my choice in life. You understand what I'm saying? So... I, I, 
appreciate your uh, opinion and your input, but it really is not needed. It's not needed, baby. Trust and believe. I'm going to do what I want to do regardless of what people say. So that's just that's just me and that's the way I, I, I have always been. I don't, you know, I don't praise human and I don't listen to what human beings say. Because one thing about it, God is the head of my household. You know, everything I do, I put it in God's hand first. So whatever you whatever you saying doesn't even really matter. You know, I'm just, you know, just, just stating an opinion. I'm going to state my opinion as well. Not saying, you know, I understand what people be saying. You know, well, you said, what happened to the house? And, and, and a lot of people probably don't mean no harm when they ask. But I'm just, you know, putting it out there for you. You know, and I'm not, I'm not saying in a bad way. I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just saying nothing happens overnight. You have to give a person a chance. You know what I'm saying? Just because it ain't happened when you want to happen don't mean a person is a liar. That's all I'm saying. So, uh, whatever I choose to do, you know, I do it. That's, that's all I'm going to say. Whether I move out of town, which I want to, like my daughter said, you know, she's going to get her own place. And, you know, Dirty might just go with me. You know what I'm saying? He might just go with me. But I don't think his mama going to let him go out of town, you know, because she, she going to miss her baby. You know what I'm saying? But like I was saying, this is some, some me time. This is what I need, you know. Now, whether my my daughter dad go with me or not, I don't know. He said he didn't want to move out of town. That's on him. We have two uh, we have two ways of looking at it. He look at it like he want to stay here. He got a good job. He's stable. Okay, I'm looking at it like okay. I'm 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 doing YouTube. I can take my YouTube anywhere. You see what I'm saying? I can take my channel anywhere and still make my money. He can He might not get a good job like he got down here. So I mean. We have to compromise. You know what I'm saying? Um, but like I said, I don't know what we're going to do. You know? And a lot of people say, well, uh, where your baby dad? I'm not going to put him on here. He don't want to be seen on YouTube, period. He ain't no YouTuber. He don't want to be seen on it. Everybody life ain't surrounded by YouTube. So, no, he's not going to be on here. And I'm not going to put him out like that. Y'all won't get a chance to drag him uh, all the trolls. They won't get a chance to drag my, my child's dad, period. I'm not going to even put him out there like that because he's a very quiet, laid-back person. He ain't with all that drama and stuff, you know. He never have been. He never have been. But if you ask somebody that know me and him, you better ask him. We, we rock, we roll, baby, together. So whether... Uh, y'all believe it or not, you know, it really doesn't matter what y'all believe, you know. I know the real. I ain't got to lie. I'm 51 years old. What I'm lying for? I ain't got to lie. Y'all act like a man is the hardest thing to get. That's the easiest thing to get as a man. So, I mean, what are y'all, I mean, what's the point? What's your point? Whether I have a man or not, doesn't matter to you. It has nothing to do with your life long as you have a significant other in your life why are you worried about my life <clears throat> because i'm not exposing him i'm not going to expose him he don't want to be no part of youtube everybody ain't with all this drama and you know like he said you know what i'm saying he told a lot of people about my channel you know what i'm saying and then he said i think he, now he don't want to be seen but i'm sure he he watches it he said he don't watch it anymore because all the drama was going on. But uh, he was like, I told everybody to subscribe to you. And, and all of a sudden, all the bull stuff, you know, started happening. He said, man, don't nobody want to hear all that mess. And I truly agree with it. Don't nobody want to hear drama all the time. You know, people do have positivity in their life. You know what I'm saying? People do want to live their life in peace. So I want to let him live his life in peace because people are on youtube and they they put their whole life story on youtube and their whole life whatever going on right then and there you know it's on here for everybody to see everybody ain't down with that and i would not put him on here for people to drag him and i don't care what nobody say you ain't never gotta believe me a man is the easiest thing to get <laughs> i don't know where y'all being or come from you know it ain't hard to get a man there Y'all act like I'm just, I look like a, 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 a monster or something. 
beautiful women can get a man, ugly women can get a man, ugly men can get women, and, and, and gorgeous men can get women. It, it don't matter how you look. Looks are not important. That's the whole thing. I hope this car slow down behind me. That's the whole thing. That's what people get the misunderstanding. Looks ain't everything. It's what's in your heart. It's what's in your heart. You know, and, and everything ain't for everybody. You know, every relationship ain't for you. You know what I'm saying? God gonna make that. And if it's for you, you'll have it. And you'll be there with that person. You know what I'm saying? So you got to let... You, girl, you just got the camera everywhere. You just got to let it happen. That's all. That's all I'm saying. You just got to let whatever happen, happen. You know, that's all. I'm not trying to... You know, talk crazy or belittle anybody because I'm that's not me. I'm I'm all for the positivity. You know what I'm saying? That's the type of person that I always wanted to be positive. I don't never want no negative around me, negativity. But people gonna say ugly things, you can't stop it. And I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna try to stop and be be try, just because you say ugly things to me, try to baby and sweet talk you. You say what you wanna say about me. It's all good, you know. Oh, guess what? I know the real, and the people around me know the real. You don't know me, so what you say doesn't even matter. But anyway, you guys, I'm almost here. I'm at the next stoplight. I'm going to stop again. But anyway, I just wanted to come on and have a casual conversation with my true supporters because I truly, truly appreciate you, and I really love you guys. And when I talk like people are being ugly to me y'all know i'm not talking about my true supporters because i really I, I have more love than i have hate that's the good thing about it. that's what keep me going i have more love than i i do hate so that's a good thing and it's always positive and i love coming on having a casual conversation just doing a video with you guys because i know i'm gonna get a lot of good feedback and i know i'm gonna get a lot of you know bad feedback so it doesn't really matter but anyway you guys happy sunday to everybody and i'll see you on the next video.